hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight I go by Yoon and Nate here on YouTube and in my work my name is Jillian in real life and I just want to thank you so much for stopping by my channel it means the world to me to create these videos for everyone thank you so much your comments warm my heart give me energy I'm so grateful for this you know kind of bizarre right but like connection that that we have it's truly beautiful and I appreciate it so very much so the video that I'm creating for us today is a little tricky for me to describe because it comes from a reading that we've done in patreon so I was very late with getting my Taurus season videos out so I'm so sorry happy birthday Taurus we're actually in Gemini season at the time that I'm recording this but happy birthday Taurus you are such lovely individuals I love Taurus season please don't let my um, delay in any way reflect as if I don't love you guys because I really really do I have my Midheaven and Chiron and Taurus for any of the astrology heads so that tells you a little bit about me <laughs> and um, I just want to say happy birthday again to all the Taurus folks out there our theme for today is going to be in a few different parts essentially we want to focus on relieving fear taking away fear cultivating reminding you that you have your own inner light inner trust true rich unbreakable connection to understanding yourself to cultivating peace for manifesting for influencing the world around you and i really want to first focus on in the first part of our video releasing fear fear of the unknown fear of success fear of failure fear of winning fear of losing we want to take that all away so that we can prepare and it's not like it ever goes away but it's something we cannot shine our light onto and therefore enhance our courage our boldness our truth our sovereignty our sense of self our willpower our empowerment our personal empowerment so it's complicated to talk about as in i don't want to deny fear i think it's important to validate those fears but i also know that there's a trick to it and when it comes to fear of the unknown fear of the finite fear of like this like lack feeling or this not doing enough or what's gonna happen when I do take that step all of that I know we can turn ourselves on it turn ourselves put down our heel turn on our heel to twist to highlight your truth your power your creative force your vitality your health your wellness your um like wealth in your life love in your life and all of all of the good things right so we're gonna work with relieving releasing fear we're also going to work with empowering ourselves to fight the fight there was something that came up that was um in the reading that we've done on patreon is what i mean by that that we have been called to fight a fight and it doesn't matter whether we win or lose we're not fighting to win or lose necessarily we're putting that energy in to the situation we're contributing we're letting our voice be heard whatever it might be we're showing up we're putting in the the movement the energy of whatever this fight and i don't love that word but fight is that you may have experienced or might be presently experiencing to demonstrate your uh, reverence for the topic to demonstrate your flexibility your ability and your not uh, backing down to something that's important to you now this might be I don't mean that this is a battle with a person necessarily this might be facing your fears this might be the fight of taking that step being seen taking a little bit of a risk here to try something for example right so i don't want you to get like this battle in your head necessarily the battle's all within and that's what we're working on here and we also want to end a little bit of end with a little bit of like a soothing energy because i don't want you to feel pressured in the 
contrast of the battle, so to speak. I want us to be okay with whatever unfolds, trusting that rest is okay, weakness is okay. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, right? But like, it's okay to have slow days. It's okay to need time. It's okay to get a cold. Not like I would wish that on you, but it's okay. It's okay to not be the strongest person or your strongest self every single day. So I want to give us that time for downtime as well and like a soothing reassurance. I'm not trying to encourage you into defeat, certainly not. I want to encourage comfort no matter where you are. Comfort with who you are. Comfort with yourself and your actions and knowing that we all have ups and downs. It's part of the journey. You've been called to put your energy into something and the universe will reward you for that. Even if that means you also need to take a little break from it as well from time to time, right? So I'm sorry for any convolution here. I think this is one of those a little open for, interp I guess they all are, but open for interpretation sessions. Um, as in here with your heart, and apply this to your life, set your intention when we do to apply this to your life, you know, like if you're hearing me and this resonates, you know what it, what I'm talking about in regard to your life. You know what this touches and where you can direct or receive this session to support, okay? So um, we're going to be taking the pressure off, I guess is a way to say that at the end. I just want to again thank you so much and let's set our intention here now together We have four candles lit to create a container a foundation a vessel a space a safe space for us to have these meditative and therapeutic and Potentially ASMR hope I'm trying to incorporate that of course into our Experience here on behalf of your highest and greatest good and in perfect comfort perfect alignment it is our intention to release fear, clear fear, let go of it, validate it, yes, but turn on it, shine your light into something else. I'm going to remind you, you're the creator, you're the sovereign being, you are, you are your will, you are the universe, you are everything connected, you've always been there for yourself, so there's nothing here to fear, and we'll maybe talk a little bit about that more, but let me focus on the intention. We want to focus on the energy that we need to show up, to fight the fight, to contribute, to try, to give something a shot, you know, to step into that field, show up, be yourself, share your ideas, create the thing, <laughs> have the conversation, um, step out of your comfort zone potentially a little bit, maybe for some of us, right? So we want to cultivate that energy and we want to also end with this no pressure, follow your heart, trust yourself, relieve that tension, and just let things fall into a beautiful alignment, beautiful place for you when that fear is gone and you're feeling very empowered in yourself. And that is our intention. All right, we're going to begin with these selenite Two very beautiful <laughs> selenite wands here. And selenite is known for being a, um, not holding any negative energy. It's great, like a channel of pure light to move things, particularly in this case, fear, a inhibition in a sense of connecting with or participating with the unknown, for taking a risk, for revealing yourself, for admitting your desires, admitting what you truly want out of this life, fear of, again, anything finite, any lack mentality, anything like that. I'm going to first work through the crown. I'm going to reach over your head and move these. through the channel within you so that fear, that resistance, that 
paralyzing and that which makes us respond differently you know we respond differently when we are fearful versus when we are confident so let's let that channel open to allow pure flow and you can just relax maybe focus as if there's a light shining through your crown down through the very core of you and we're cleansing here calling in universal love universal empowerment and connection through the receptive meridian so you can think left to right you can picture through your feet and palms up through your limbs into your core and out your arms and legs and palms and soul of your foot so moving through receiving and releasing clearing the channels of receptivity and your directive force so that you can perceive your options better you can take in the information more accurately you can see more truthfully the circumstance and release, create, express one more time in through the left fields is no room for fear in the light and the light I mean your knowledge your sense of self your capabilities your acknowledgement your understanding of how capable you are we're just gonna extract with these I have had less than, you know, 
rainbows and gummy bears dreams, you know? Like, I've had some bizarre, kind of off-putting dreams. Sure, who hasn't? But I haven't had a nightmare. I haven't felt fear in a dream in years, years and years. And I used to have lots of nightmares. And what worked for me was realizing that in the dark, in my dreams, in my subconscious, is me. And why would I be afraid of myself? So, even if I do have some bizarre dreams sometimes, they're never scary. I never feel scared. I never feel disempowered. I always feel Like an observer, like a witness, and it just helps me so much. That's what I feel like in this clearing, just to remind you that you're the light in the darkness. Pardon me. We're going to place this in the mind. It's not like you need it. It's not like you don't have it. But I want this as a reminder that you light it up. Your knowledge, your awareness, your focus. There's no reason to be afraid of yourself. There's no reason to fear your success or doubt your success or doubt the unknown or fear. you are in, um, inflict on the ways that you make choices in your life or how you move through life or how you believe
connection to that inner light. We are preserving the channels of your consciousness, your conscious connection to your awareness, your creative force, your connection. You can never take that away, but you can inhibit your awareness of it. You can inhibit your connection. So we're protecting. your awareness of it is enhanced, enhanced, it's pushing everything out. It's pushing out that fear. It's pushing out that resistance to showing up, that resistance to your authenticity, that, um, yeah, but that won't work out, or the things that keep you stuck, the things that keep you stagnant, the things that prevent your ascension, your growth, your development, your manifestations. It's releasing, it's clearing. So, as this comes out of the core and through every layer, physical, through the center core, let's say, but also those very cells, the memory of the cells, the mind of the cells, through your emotions, through your mental field, your um, subtle spiritual field, and your etheric field, out into your auric field, and we're going to sweep it all Clearing it and casting it out. Go where you are needed. Go where you make sense. Or transmute. Transmute. And we're clearing, clearing. Sweeping down your entire auric field. Releasing. Releasing. Clearing, clearing, clearing. Letting it go. Letting it go. Things we face every day. Things we have to deal with every day. Let it go. With love and validation. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And let go the fear of failure. I am a proud failure. <laughs> I have failed in my life many times. But every fail gave me a lesson, every fail taught me more about what to do, about myself, about what I want. Failed relationships taught me how to be better in other relationships. Failed businesses taught me more of what I want to do, how I want to contribute. Facing fears. Putting my face out on the internet <laughs> taught me that I can do things that I thought I never could. So we want to just clear all through the entirety, every tiny, tiny, tiny little hologram whisper of energy, clearing. Purely connect with your options, your choices, your desires, your wishes, your resources, your channels for receiving and creating and connecting. Cleared, cleared, cleared. I want to place these in your hands, and if you're unable to hold these objects, on the floor next to you, or you can just see them on your shoulders, like 
this <laughs> whatever feels good and is most appropriate to you but I want to support some protection and grounding with these two stones this one with the little gold flecks is Nu'umite Nu'umite and it is a highly protective highly magical stone volcanic in nature and protective of its owner so I want to place this here on your left shoulder that's what I'll do if you want to hold it in your hand you can visualize that too if you want a visual there, anchor that in and I'm going to place this on your left shoulder here just going to rub it onto your shoulder okay and then this one is a black garnet. How cool, right? I don't know if you can see the formations, but it's truly so cool and so gorgeous, so interesting. This is very powerful, very grounding, and it's creative. You can see it is building, it is creating, it is expressing these formations. And I'm going to place this on your shoulder here. Just massage it first onto your shoulder. Activate it, anchor it onto you like armor for your fight. <laughs> and please forgive that word. what you've learned. Give it a shot. Don't worry about failing. Don't winning, worry about winning or losing. This is about the experience. This is about showing up. This is about stretching your wings. This is about being seen. This is about proving something to yourself, right? Demonstrating something. Appreciation, trust, fun, you have something to step into, you have something to show up for, you have something to push up against, might be within you, might be external, might be a combination you are armed with your creative force, you are armed with your appreciation for the experience, you are armed with what you know is right and true to you. And I want you to visualize taking your knife, your athame, plunging it into the earth by your side, and 
taking a step forward. Alright, so hold your athame, plunge it into the earth, and take a step forward. Alright. We have these feathers, these black stork feathers, symbols of rebirth, transformation, and the unknown. And we have left our sword in the ground as a symbol. The fight isn't physical. The fight is mental. The fight is perspective. The fight is trust. The fight is empowerment. Not a physical battle, so to speak. yourself, focused on trying something, watch how the universe shows up for you when you're bold like this, when you're aligned, and know that it's okay as well to need a day, to need a week, to need rest. It is okay to not succeed the way you how to succeed and to allow the success to unfold in different ways. For example, so we're just adding some softness and fanning, channeling to you. From the depths of who you are, the depths of the purest connection to the universal all and truth and power and energy. This is in your heart, so go after it. This is in your heart, you cannot fail. It's not about winning or losing here. It's not about success and failure in the way we perceive it in those finite senses. The win is done simply by showing up. this complete experience, whatever it might be for you. And a brush down. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path today 
and for your patience, Taurus people. Love you. And for being such a significant part of my path, I'm so very grateful. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine you and I and to this beautiful connection that we share. So very much love to you.